So let's learn how to do cost estimates in CloudFormation. So for this, we're going to create a stack and uh, use the template that's already ready. We're going to upload a file, and the file we're going to upload is for CloudFormation Designer Demo.yaml. We click on Next, and then I'll call this one Demo Cost. And then we set for a parameter. We'll say we want a M4, uh, M5 4 x large, for example. Uh, we need a key name for being able to go along with this. So let's go into EC2 very quickly. Um, and then on the left-hand side, under key pairs, just create a key pair, call it demo key pair. We'll be using it in this course maybe, so keep it. So we'll have PEM file, we'll create this key pair, and it's been downloaded, so make sure you keep that file. So this key pair has been ready. So now what I have to do is just do previous and next, and hopefully the key pair is appearing right now, so perfect. Let's make sure we set again an M5 for X large for my EC2 instance. We'll click on next, and then I will click all the bottom on next. And here is the template. And as you can see, there is a button here to estimate the cost. So if you click on estimate cost, it takes you into the calculator of AWS. Now it is possible that it is going to be going away at some point, um, and that is going to be uh, replaced by the pricing calculator. Right now, uh, it is taking me still to the simple monthly calculator. And what I can see is here is that within my services, we can see what was created. And then we can estimate our monthly bill. And we can see that this CloudFormation template is going to cost me $673 a month. So obviously, I'm not going to create it. But we get some information around the fact that the compute instance for EC2 instance uh, is going to be costing us a lot of money. And this is why, uh, this is because we've set up uh, our instance to be an M5 for XLarge, so something with quite a bit of power. So just wanted to show you how to estimate the cost of your templates. I'll make sure uh, to update this if we go away from the simple monthly calculator, but you have an idea. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it, and please do not create this stack, otherwise you will have great costs. So just cancel it, and you're good to go. That's it. I will see you in the next lecture.